So we're going to be taking a look at the use layout effect hook. Now this one has a niche use case, which I only use on rare occasions. Now the key thing to know about this is this line right here from the docs. It says the signature is identical to the use effect hook, but it fires synchronously after all DOM mutations. And so this part is how it differs from use effect. And in practice, what that means is it's good for for example, if we want to measure the box of something or measure the width of a DOM component after a render occurs or any kind of thing where we rely on getting information from the DOM and the use effect, we want to try out use layout effect. In practice, a lot of times I'm usually taking this advice right here where it says we recommend starting with use effect first and only trying use layout effect if that causes a problem. So in practice, that's usually what I do, but I have found a pattern of where you use layout effect has been helpful for me. So we're going to be taking a look at an example of that. So I'm going to measure the dimensions of this input field. So I want to know how wide and how tall and all that stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just saying use layout effect here. And we're going to do uh, just on first mount. And then we're going to import it up here. And here I'm going to say console.log input ref. We're already storing the ref up here. So we have use ref input ref, and we are passing that to this input here. Ref is equal to input ref. And then here I'm going to say get bounding client rect. So this is a function that basically gives you the dimensions of this, this component or this uh, DOM node. So if we come over here, and this should be input ref dot current. We can see in our log, we can see the dimensions. So here we can see the width and the height, and we can also see uh, positioned on the page where it's at top, left, right, bottom, and the X and Y coordinates. So this can be helpful for doing different sorts of stuff. Um, and that's the basic gist of it. Whenever I want to get a value, for example, the measurements of a DOM node, I will use use layout effect instead of use effect. So let's look at uh, another example that is a little bit more practical. So I'm going to go ahead and just console or comment this out and go over to the hello example over here. So here, for example, I might want to know how wide or how tall this, this uh, div is right here because this data dynamically changes. Uh, whenever I increment the number, we're going to get a new uh, fact. And so this is going to be new text and it's going to be a new width. So we may, we may want to know the width after each render. So how can we do that? And that's where use layout effect can be used. So we're going to go over here to hello. I'm going to go ahead and just go to use fetch real quick and remove the timeout so this thing isn't super slow. So I'm going to just remove that and I'm going to keep everything else the same. All right, so here what I want to do is I'm going to first just put a div inside of this. And reason why I'm doing that is if I come here and I open the inspector and look at this element, you'll notice it spans the entire page. So what I want to do is in this paired element, say display flex. And that way I can see just the width of it inside this small div here. So we're going to say display flex. And then here I'm going to store a reference to this div. So I'm going to say const div ref is equal to use ref. We're going to pass that in. Ref is equal to div ref. And I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to say use layout effect right here. And let's go ahead and import it up here. Now for the dependency, I want to remeasure this every time there is some new data. So I'm going to add data as a dependency here. And let's start by just console logging it. So I'm going to say div ref dot current and dot get bounding client rect. All right, so we can see in the console log here, it is has a width of 368 or 386, I mean, and if we increment you can see the width has changed now to 285. So now we can measure it each time we change it. Uh, the other thing is you may want to uh, display something based on this. So for example, I may want to display the width. So we could store this in a use state if we wanted to. 
Let's go back to const. And so here I can say uh, div or uh, let's call it rect and set rect is equal to use state and it's going to be an empty object to start off and so here I'm just going to display this information I'm going to say rect or json dot stringify the rectangle and then in the use layout effect we're going to say set rect and let's not delete everything set rect so every time we get a new piece of data, we are going to get the size of this div, and then we are going to update the state, and we are going to display the new sized rectangle. So here we can see the JSON for it, and we can display this maybe a little bit more pretty if we use a pre-tag, and then we say null2 to format it. See if that gets a little better, nice. So now I can see the dimensions, and I can increment, and I can see we get some new values and new values for this. So that's pretty cool. And we could turn this into its own custom hook if we want to. So for example, we could call this thing like use measure.js. And here you could you could build this hook in a number of ways, but let's say we just pass in the the ref to the use measure that we want to do it for. And let's copy this. And then what we return is the rectangle. So here we're going to import all this stuff. So import from React, use state, use ref, and use layout effect. I guess we could pass in the dependencies for the uh, use layout effect as well. Say dependencies here, and I guess uh, React usually was passed as a dependency list that is not an array literal. Oh, I guess uh, this doesn't know because it's of the type any. Even though we're in JavaScript, interesting. I, I guess it just says we can't statically verify, so it's giving me a warning about it. So I guess we can hit command and then period, and we can just disable this for this line because we know it's going to be okay or at least we are uh, hoping it is. So now, uh, instead of using a div ref here, we can use whatever ref is passed in. So this is one way that you could write this hook. Um, and so what do we get after we've written a hook like this? So now I could just say rectangle is equal to use measure, and then I pass in the div reference. And then my dependency is the data and we can remove this and now I can just use my use measure like this so my use measure hook uh, we have the reference here to the div and then here we have the dependency list of when we want it to re-measure so let's see this in action and see if we got this correct increment and there we go we got it working nicely we could also uh, if we wanted to do this move the reference inside of use measure here so let's move this inside of use measure so instead of taking this as a proper there, we can say use ref. And I guess, I don't know what I want to call this. My ref maybe. And so we can pass the rectangle as the first argument and the reference as the second argument to, and we return this as an array. So now in our use measure over here, all we have to pass in is the dependency and then we have the rectangle and then our div ref as the second value. So now we have this use measure hook where I can put this wherever I want to. So now I can use it in my app over here as well if I want to. So I could say use measure. And I want this to just do on initial mount. We can pass in, uh, I guess I was going to pass in my input ref, but uh, here we can have another one, put ref2. And we have a rectangle, and now we can pass that in here. And now we're measuring the bounds of this input box here. So now we've made like a nice little utility there and we are measuring it with the use layout effect. But there you go, that gives you kind of an idea of when you might wanna use use layout effect and how it works. And we made kind of a custom hook here that you can use to measure the size of components 
and a few different ways you can build this hook depending on how you want it to work.